Hey guys, Kerex Hip here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the AC12 Conrad Duke Lemon Energy Arms from Conrad Gaim. This is the 12th entry in the Arms Chain series and is the second Genesis Rider. So this set includes three things one figure, one set of arms, and one weapon. So start, let's take a look at the Conrad Duke base figure. So unlike Zangetsu Shin, who reused a lot of parts from regular Zangetsu, Duke is an almost original suit, using elements that will carry on to the figures for the other two, or rather, the last two of the four main Genesis Riders. So starting off with the helmet, you can see that it's... Uh, Got kind of a European knight style, making Duke kind of the Genesis Rider equivalent to Conrad Baron, where Zangetsu Zushin was kind of the equivalent to Gaim, being rather European style. So you can see that his visor is segmented by these vertical lines. You've got this very angular look to it. On top of that is this crown-like design with these five red gems. Then a uh, red forehead gem there. Got silver pipes coming down uh, on the sides. The mouthpiece with a black chin piece. And then the back of the head is black. To go along with these little black lines along the top. Going down to the body. See that the main plastic color is this glittery kind of metallic powder blue color and with the torso it is totally black with a very plain design with the exception of this little neck piece here with a segmented design going down the collarbone moving along the arms it's got very plain shoulders with black paint on the inside then going down we have some unique shoulder pads and the uh, forearm guards which are similar to Baron's and have a more angular look to them as well as these engraved patterns got the same basic hands done up in silver and then you have the Genesis driver here which is the same colors as one on Zangetsu Shin, except this time you have molded in lemon energy lock seed, and that and the juice cup in the bottom are painted in gold. And moving down to the legs, we have the thigh armor, which is silver with these black zigzag lines in the middle, and more engraved patterns all around. On the back as well, although the paint is only on the front not on the back then from there it's the standard armored rider lower legs and feet articulation wise has on the ball joint arms rotate 360 degrees in and out bicep swivel single joint elbows wrist swivel two finger joints waist swivel Let's go forward and back, in and out, thigh rotation, single joint knees, ball joint ankles. Same as the other figures. Next we have the Lemon Energy Arms in its fruit mode. And this is basically designed after the Mango Arms. To give it that kind of egg like or oblong shape that lemon has. So, this is kind of a strange one because, as you see, it has some yellow parts, but for the most part, it's all this silver here. With the yellow just being here in the front, with these metallic yellow pieces here, and then the clear yellow piece on the top. For the rest, it's all these silver pieces with etching similar to the ones on the armor of his base suit. And a lot of thing, and one thing to make note of is that 
as you can see, uh, all these etchings don't have any color in them, and that is uh, you know, one small inaccuracy, as all these are supposed to be detailed in black, like some of the etchings are on his suit. Although, unlike the uh, manga arms, because it has this little part at the bottom, though it's a little bit tough, you can actually stand up the lemon energy arms on its own, which is nice. And then, of course, you have the weapon, which is a uh, Sonic Arrow. And once again, this is identical to uh, the one that came with Zangetsu Shin, as well as Gaim Jinba arms. It does the same thing with going back and going forward. And I really will say that this is my one major gripe about the Genesis Riders was how they all had the same weapon, and that was their only weapon. Obviously, I can understand them having the same weapon as kind of a sidearm, like the uh, Musa Saber, but really was disappointing that they didn't have their own unique arms weapons. So for the transformation, since this is like the Mango Arms, you're going to have to do a little bit of transformation first. So we're going to open this up, just like so, and pull these to the back. And take the figure, and line it up like this. Make sure that the headpiece goes in properly. And snap the harness onto the shoulders. Next, take the piece on top, which will come the single shoulder pad, and move it over to the left. And take this piece on top and unclip it from the helmet piece. And fold it to the back. Then, using some hinges, you're going to want to fold this down and back up. And fold these two flaps to the back and fold the two cape pieces in. That will complete the cape. Then, take this piece in the front, fold it forward and around, and you want to coordinate it in on itself. Just like that. And that will complete them. And there you have Conrad Duke Lemon Energy Arms. So once again, similar to Zangetsu Shin, this was very much designed, this arms was very much designed for the space suit. Starting off with this hel helmet, you can see that the uh, two spikes here on the helmet piece line up with these outermost horns. And the piping on the bottom matches up with the piping on the face. You'll also see the pattern there, which is a simple metallic yellow color. It's got these two lemon-like nodes on the sides. And you've got the chest pad, the chest plate, which is metallic gold, with Duke's symbol here, then clear yellow parts to match up with the shoulder piece. And then you got all this back here, which becomes the cape. Now, unfortunately, this does suffer the same problem that Mango Arms does, in that this is, you know, a big plastic cape, and so it does mean that he's rather back heavy. So if you're not careful enough, he'll just kind of fall over backwards. So, you know, you gotta kind of hope that he has some sturdy ankle joints or and knee joints. Otherwise, you kind of want it going to want to at least lean him forward a little bit, since unlike Baron Mango Arms, he doesn't have a heavy weapon that he can use to kind of counterbalance the weight. And of course, as usual, you can equip him with his weapon. So you put the sock arrow in either hand. Just getting it in like that. Mm -hmm. 
like so, and then you can pose them with it. Additionally, <laughs> you can take the Lemon Energy Arms and give it to Kamen Rider Baron. So just having this off of Duke. Take it and simply get over the shoulders, snap it into place. And take the helmet piece and put it in. And there you have Conrad Baron Lemon Energy Arms. So, as a lot of you probably know, and some of you may not know, Baron Lemon Energy, Ar Energy Arms was not originally planned to be in the show. It was actually added in because of the popularity of the Baron character. And so one thing you'll note is that this was not designed for Baron to actually be able to use in the show. The first thing, of course, being that, of course, the uh, horns here don't really match up, as they just kind of stick out past the helmet. And then there's also the thing with the Duke chest symbol. In the show, it's Baron's chest symbol when he uses Lemon Energy, but there was no uh, Baron version created. And, of course, there's also the problem of the Genesis driver having to be used instead of a Sengoku driver. Although, it is actually possible to basically unscrew the torsos of these two figures and swap out the belt pieces so you can make the figure at least a little bit more accurate. Well, it does look nice. Somehow, uh, the yellow color used here doesn't quite match up with Baron as much as the banana arms, in my opinion. But at the very least, it is an option, and of course, you can use this with any of the other arms change figures. So, just getting Baron, but rather Duke, back to normal. And just setting him back down. So overall, Kamen Rider Duke is a very nice figure. It definitely has a very unique design, and it does show that you know, beyond Kamen Rider Zangetsu Shin, they did put a little bit more effort into the other Genesis Riders. Got a nice cool design, and it is very uh, cool how uh, you know he does have the specific lock seed and uh, proper colors as well as the arms you know, going very well with this base body. And of course, you can use it for Conrad Baron Lemon Energy Arms, or use it with any of the other arm change figures, and use any of your other arms on this figure. So, of course, it does add very... it definitely does add a lot to an arm chain collection. Now, there is an... as a figure it's Conrad Duke. Conrad Duke figure, but it is a web exclusive, so it's a little bit on the pricey side. So, if you want a figure that you know has that more screen accurate look to it and doesn't have you know the burn of this big plastic piece as a cape, and you're willing to spend a little bit more, then you know you can go and pick up that. But if you want a Conrad Duke figure with a nice amount of playability, well as a nice amount of detail, 
and the limited energy arms they can use on other figures. And I definitely recommend this one. This is because there is also a Nessie figure that's coming out of Baron Lemon Energy Arms, but that one is one that was an event exclusive, so that one is extremely hard to get and is very pricey. So, with that said, there are actually multiple reasons for that, so on the whole, this is a very recommended figure. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more videos, as well as my Facebook page. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.